is going on? We got another unboxing first shot video for you guys while I'm cleaning up everything here. And again, it's a Taurus. Very inexpensive guns, but definitely quality guns. So today we've got the Taurus G2C. I have not even taken this, even even my gun guy, He, I, I picked it up just like this. I, I trust the guy 100%, so this is going to be a first for me to see what's in the box too. So, let's check it out. Minimize reload time. Stock up on Taurus magazines today. Oh, they got, they're saying they got 15 and 17 round mags for the G2 and the G3C compact. Okay. All right, let's set that to the side here. Activate your warranty. I say it every video. Read your manual. Read your manual. Oh, look at that. What do you know? We got another crapo lock. That is in the trash can. We got two 12 round magazines. Got the push button there. Made in Brazil. Okay. All right. And that's that's it for the box. Box is empty. All right. So here we go. Let's check this pig out. The meat and potatoes of the box. All right. Got some oil on it. Got the pleasure pimple. Here's another pleasure pimple from some other gun. There we go. And it doesn't appear to be as dirty as the G3 when we unboxed it. Definitely, there's copper down the barrel. So it's got the thumb safety like the G3. Big mag magazine release button. It's got a little pedal there for your for your thumb. Empty. Ooh, with that mag, that feels really good. That feels really good in my hand. Right now, I'm carrying a a uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat. Um, it's a little bit thinner than this, but this that pistol feels really good. So. Trying to get this guy off of here. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's give you some specs on this gun. So I'm finding it anywhere between 379 and 300 bucks online. Gun shops around town, they're running about 280, 290-ish. So you can walk out with a nice compact pistol for between 310 and 330 bucks. Um, it's got a 3.2 inch barrel. It's got adjustable sights, actually. It's got the three whites. I'm not a big fan of that. You guys know I like the black blade and red front, but that's okay. But yeah, that's neat. Adjustable sight. We'll have to check that out. Let's just take this gun down real quick. I'm just curious on how dirty it is on the inside. Oh, come on. Oh, it don't want to come apart. It don't want to come apart. There it goes. It's a little dirty, but nothing compared to that G2. That G2, was, or G3, I'm sorry. That G3 was absolutely dirty, dirty, dirty. Barrel's got some copper down it. So, I'm not even going to clean this. I didn't clean the G3 and went out to the range. If you remember, I did have some, some malfunctioning issues with that pistol. Um, well, I wouldn't say malfunctioning. It was just uh, feeding... Let's check the trigger on this guy, huh? Oh, I threw the box on the gauge. Let's see what we got for the trigger on this one. All right. Oh, it slid down on me a little bit. It's wanting to go. 5-4. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Clear. Ready. 
trying to get it in the optimal place. There is, oh man. Six, seven, or six, four, I'm sorry. Let's do one more here. Because that was, that bad boy had a ton of creep on it. A ton of creep. Five, five, so five and a half pound, six pound trigger. Look at the take up on that. And let's see. All right, so right there, you're hitting a wall, but then it's got, it was creeping. Yeah, it's still creeping. Boom, before it lets go, huh? Definitely not as good as the G3. And I, that does not feel good at all. I'm not going to lie. None against Taurus, but man, that. Lots, lots of creep. Let's check the re reset on it. Lots of, lots of. Quarter inch movement for the, oh, it didn't even. Maybe I didn't do it good enough. There it goes. Yeah, it's got quite a ways for the reset too. Well, let's go out and shoot this gun. I'm going to run over to the indoor range instead of heading out to the outside range. But wow, we that, that trigger pull. Good lord. That's a lot of distance and a lot of creep. Well, let's go shoot it and see what we think, and then we'll come back to the bench. I just got back from the range. Um, I put 100 rounds through it. And I mean, I just got back. I haven't even loaded it or anything. So there's that. Where's the mags? Oh, hey there. Okay. So, I got to review the GoPro Pro footage. I, I think I had the camera on the wrong. Me and that GoPro, man, I, it, it's my fault. Just user error. So, this camera I'm using to film this right here, I love a lot. But me and GoPros, you bump that little screen and um, just it gets it all off of whack. So, 100 rounds through it. I ran 50 rounds of my reloads and 50 rounds of some Czechoslovakian uh, garbage that they had. That's all I had. Um, and it did just fine. It, it For what this gun is meant to do, it did just fine. It's a, a cheap point-and-shoot gun. Things I didn't like about it, um, which on most guns I don't like, is the trigger. Plain and simple. Just I don't like... Everybody saw that. The gun's clear. No, nothing's chambered. Mags are empty. Okay. So the only thing I don't like is I don't I don't mind the take up, but trying to pull through, there's just a crap ton of creep. Just a lot of creep. If I'm hitting that, if I'm hitting that, if I'm hitting that, oh, darn it, sorry. If I'm hitting that back wall, I mean, I boom, I want it to go off. I don't want it to creep another eighth of an inch quarter of an inch i want it to go you know so um all that creeping just i, do, I don't like it uh, personally I'll, I'll probably never shoot this gun again uh i think what we'll do is we'll give this gun away uh when we hit 500 subscribers if we ever hit 500 subscribers we'll give this taurus away okay um i'll clean it up i'll put it back in the box i'll throw it in the safe but what it is designed to do protect you Point and shoot, self defense, pistol. It's it's phenomenal for that. For going out and shooting every day and trying to be precision and blah blah blah. It no, definitely not. Um, didn't have any uh, any uh, loading issues like I did on the G3. I had the troll on there on my last video saying it's oh it's your shitty ass ammo. You can't run shitty ammo. You know what? If I can't run shitty ammo through a gun, I don't want it. Uh, this gun functioned just fine. Uh, I, I have no complaints about it. even the. Uh, that's just me on the trigger. You may like this trigger a lot. I just don't, and I'm not a big fan of guns with safeties on them. Um, I could have adjusted the sights, but I didn't. But let's look at the target real quick, just in case the GoPro footage doesn't come through. So I had. Let's see here. So this was my, my first two mags. Um, and this was my very first shot way way down here. That was my first shot. And then I brought, you know, getting the feel for the trigger, brought it up. And 
that was the the rest of those 24 rounds okay then uh this was this was uh factory stuff then this was reloads here aim small miss small kind of thing i think i had two that were left off off the target but it it shot well i, I can't complain about the i mean it, it was very accurate this was at 30 feet these were hand loads here and these ones everything from this side so everything right here all that was pulling all the way through the trigger that was me just going like that on those shots and that was that's the same for this one this one i think pretty much the same thing all these ones were were the same just pulling through the trigger just just pulling through pulling through pulling through now all the tighter ones were oh, were hitting that release and then letting her go so i was working on that with the gun and it i i can't complain about the accuracy it shot really good and in these three i just had three bullets laying up on the up on the counter and i set the target at 75 yards and i think my first shot I think, well, I don't know where my first, because I actually shot four. I, I apologize. There's four up on the counter, and it's here or here somewhere. But these were the three doing the whole back wall thing at 75 feet. So, oh, I didn't reset. Okay, there we go. So doing that, that's where those three shots are. So I think the gun is plenty accurate. Um, for 300 bucks, once again, you cannot go wrong. You, you cannot go wrong purchasing this. Now, if you think you're going to buy it and go and shoot in a match and be competitive in a match, I, I definitely know you're not. But this gun's not designed for that. This gun is, you know, inside the waistband, outside the waistband, truck gun, kind of self-defense gun. Uh, it wouldn't be bad just to throw in the glove box of the truck. I mean, I always have my the Hellcat on me, so there's no need for me to throw one in the truck. But uh, it's a great gun. It what the hell it's 300 bucks dude guys you can't go wrong you really cannot go wrong if, if you're needing something for self defense throwing it in your truck for 300 bucks you're done you got two 12 round magazines and then well now by this this i guess they're making 15 and 17 round magazines so it just says for the G, g3 and g2 compacts though so i've got the g3 full size so i'm going to look at into that for the full size but uh, I like that full size one a lot, but but that's my review. Well, I don't really want to call it a review. That's my unboxing and first shots. But I'll look through the GoPro footage and see if I can get some. I don't have all 100 shots on the GoPro, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I just I personally just don't like the trigger. It functioned fine. It it uh, it did what it's designed to do. So that's the Taurus G2C. If you if you're looking for a a cheap inexpensive pistol i mean 300 bucks isn't cheap but it's better than you know 600 for a hellcat or 700 for the the sig or you know the prices keeps going up and up and up so so check taurus out never walk by the taurus always check them out they're just as good in my my opinion so this is brian in the wild colorado please like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one